Anita, at this point, we don't know what will be seen on this footage. It will be released tomorrow at 11 a.m. on the Independent Police Review Authority's website. Now, this case is involving Paul O'Neill. O'Neill is the 18-year-old who was shot by Chicago police last week. We do have footage of O'Neill coming out from the Bolingbrook Police Department, where he is seen allegedly at a gas station using a stolen credit card as well as pumping gas for a stolen 2002 Jaguar. He's also seen meeting with suspects who may be involved with a car theft ring occurring in both Bolingbrook and the Naperville areas. O'Neill leaves Bolingbrook, heads into the city of Chicago where he slams into two police squad cars. He heads off on foot, a chase begins, and he is shot in the back by one Chicago police officer. That officer happened to be equipped with a fully functioning body camera, but was not recording at the time of the incident. The footage we are due to see tomorrow at 11 a.m. is coming from a responding officer's dash cam. At this point, the three officers who were involved in the case are being put on paid administrative leave and the investigation is still ongoing and they are stripped of their police powers. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., Superintendent Eddie Johnson will be showing this footage to a select individuals from the community who have been pushing for this video to be shown. Reporting live from the Chicago Police Headquarters, Chris Mooney, Fox 32 News. A block party held in celebration of a friend's birthday who died four years ago ended with two dead and two wounded. All this over a parking spot. This all unfolded around 1220 this morning in the 800 block of West 50th place when someone in a passing vehicle opens fire. Bullets are shot, many running away, two are hit and dead. 33 year old woman shot in the neck and taken to St. Bernard Hospital where she was pronounced dead. Also a 25 year old man who was also shot in the neck, head and chest taken here to Stroger Hospital and later died. Uh, we also have another two victims, a man and a woman also hospitalized but are set to be in stable condition. There's also a 16 year old girl who was at the scene, witnessed the gunshots, tried to run from the scene and fatally passed away from an asthma attack. At this point in time, police have no one in custody. Reporting live from Stroger Hospital, Chris Mooney, Fox 32 News.